Here is a puzzle that was posted in Mensa Mumbai's WhatsApp group for puzzles. And it goes something like this. There is an old letter box over here, uh, which is of no use anymore. So we are going to convert this by taking its top plank off, whose dimensions are given here, 12 by 9. And there is an 8 by 1 slot symmetrically located within this plate. So we are going to take this top plate and cut it into two identical pieces, identical in shape and size, so that these two pieces can be joined together to form a perfect square like this. And the puzzle is about coming up with this cutting scheme. So what kind of cut, what will be the shape and location and dimensions of that cut, so that uh, we get these two pieces to form the square. If you want to solve this puzzle on your own, you can pause the video now. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and start solving it here. Okay, so let us start solving this puzzle. For that, we are going to look at just the schematic and uh, we'll focus into this area here. First thing we do is to determine the side of this square. So this operation of cutting and pasting is not going to change the area of the wood that is available to us, the area of the plate. And that is 12 into 9, 108. But out of that 108, there is a opening here, a void, which is 8 by 1. So 108 minus 8, that leaves us with just 100 square units of real wood. So the area of this square is going to be 100. So it's going to be a 10 by 10 square. Now, just to get an idea of how to go about this, we'll superpose what we want on what we have. So here is that 10 by 10 square that we want to reach. And here is the 12 by 9 rectangle that we are to start with. And now let us look at the difference that we want to make. We want to reduce the length by two units and we want to increase the height by one unit. Okay. So we can think of these reductions and increments in terms of displacements, displacement vector. So it is something like taking this part of uh, a piece and pushing it in by two units and pushing it up by one unit. If we do that, then this part of the piece or this kind of protrusion or recess uh, of one piece will go and sit here. But for that to happen, we will need a recess here, right? For the, to accommodate that protrusion, we'll need a recess. So that's a recess. And then that creates one more protrusion, right? So we have one corner here that sat here, but that created another corner for that we need the third recess that created the third corner. So we need the fourth recess. Like that, we make a series of cuts. But by doing these cuts, we have already come halfway and our parts are going to be identical. So let us take this cut and simply replicate it to create a symmetric array. So let us take this series of cuts and we will mirror them about a horizontal length. And for symmetry, we are going to mirror them once more about a vertical line this time. This creates two pieces, so let us shade them. This is one piece and this is the bottom piece. And let us uh, take them over here so we can assemble them. So I'll copy this top piece here and take this bottom one and put it in the recess. Let's check the dimensions. And they indeed turn out to be 10 by 10. And that is hardly surprising. We have taken uh, these two areas and we have simply assembled them without the slot. So we are bound to get something that is uh, 100 square units. Now, only the last thing that remains to be checked is whether we have got these two shapes to be exactly identical. So let's select this one here and we will rotate it by 180 degrees like this and make sure it exactly sits on top of the other one. So we have identical pieces and we have assembled them to a 10 by 10 square. So that's the solution of our problem. Now, before we stop, let me show you one more way of solving this and thinking this through. And that is by thinking in terms of not displacement like we did before, but in terms of fractional changes that we are looking for. So here is what is given to us. On that, we superpose what we want. And then we look at the changes, Okay, two units here and one unit here. But instead of thinking in terms of their absolute values, two and one, as the displacements, 
uh, like we did before. Let's think in terms of fractions. So this 2 is 1 sixth of the original length 12. And this 1 is 1 ninth of this original dimension 9. And therefore, we are going to take the original dimension, okay, this height, and divide it into 9 parts. While this length, we are going to divide into 6 parts. So when we do that kind of division, okay, we get a grid like this. And on that grid, we start marking our cut. Okay, we want our cut to come in by 2. So we start here. So this edge will come and sit here. So that will automatically push everything to the left. So our cut is going to look like this. And because of symmetry, we are simply going to reflect it twice to get this cut. Uh, the dimension of this cut is, of course, going to be, you know, all vertical steps as one because we have taken them to be one ninth of the height. And all horizontal steps are two because they are one sixth the width. And when we do that, we get the same top and bottom pieces and they assemble like before. So that's the second approach. Of course, these are not the only two ways of solving this puzzle. And if you have your own thoughts or ways of solving it, uh, please do add them in the comments. Thank you.